So, we're going fishing. Conditions aren't the best. They meant to be very good, um, but they aren't. There was a load of rain and uh, wind overnight, and the water isn't looking great. In fairness, you know it's, it's murky, but hopefully it will clear. I'm just on the um, on the way to my spot. I just wanted to stop by to tell you about the fish I got the other day, and what an amazing fish it was. What an amazing fish it was. She hit me uh, very close quarters and gave me a hell of a run. Probably some, you know, four or five minutes fight. It was one of the best fights from a bass I ever had. And it was a beauty. So um, take a look at the fish. Unfortunately, I, I, I wasn't recording. I don't have uh, footage to show you the, the take and the fight. But just take a look at that fish. And, uh, and what a beautiful fish it was. What a fish, mind-blowing, monster. What an amazing fish, 9.9 .9 pounds. Just reviving her at the moment and she'll be going back in no time. What a beautiful fish, beautiful fish, amazing bass, just a couple of ounces short of 10 pounds, brilliant, brilliant fish, and off she goes, off she goes. So how's that for a bass? A beauty of 9 pounds, 14 ounces, 76 centimeters. I'm delighted I got that fish. My second biggest fish, the biggest one was 9.15. I know, I should be catching them after they had their breakfast, not before, or else there's something seriously wrong with my scales. Like, just cannot be showing 9.9 .9 every time. Anyway, in all seriousness, I'm delighted to get that fish after half of the season was a write-off for well-known reasons. I'm delighted, I'm really chuffed. As I said, the fish uh, hit me very close in, just two rod lengths out, um, and gave me hell of a fight. Hell of a fight, but I've managed to land her and invite her for a photo before I let her go. It was a brilliant fish to, to, to get. And um, I was using, as always, my favorite Skyline TZ, seven foot six uh, inches, 1035, Taiwa 38, I was 38, 3000, uh, so fixed 18 pounds line, 16 pounds uh, fluorocarbon. And on the business end, we had uh, this guy that I put today on again. Uh, one, from, uh, one from Red Gill, it comes weightless. So I put a 10 gram offset hook on it uh, and that did the trick. So if I was to give uh, one piece of advice, on the, the big fish and um, I guess you know fish the water edge fish the water edge and fish the features and I'm not talking about shallow reefs where you need to wait up deep but but when you're fishing rocks rocky points coolies fish the water edge don't ever rush to a point don't ever rush to wait deep and start casting as far as you can which I've been doing for a long time and um, just fish the water edge that's the best feature you can get um, and you turn the big, big sea into a very small area that you can fish very uh, effectively uh, if you do that. So if you do fish the open water, yes, you will get bass, but you will get a bass that was passing by at the moment that your lure was passing across their way. So there is lots of um, casting and coincidence that, that needs to happen for that fish to be there when your lure is there. Whereas if you fish the features, the fish will be there looking for a food. If you're there at the right time and you serve your lure, you have a great likelihood of getting a hit and um, loosen your drag. The last thing you want to happen is get a hit from a big fish at a very close line, or close quarters, short line, and just lose that fish right away. So um, while you shouldn't be playing the fish too long and you know get in as quickly as you can, 
and just loosen your foot a little bit. So, as I'm looking at the water, the conditions aren't the best. The water is very cloudy, but hopefully it will improve. I, I'm on my way to uh, my fishing grounds. Now I just took a break to tell you about that fish. Uh, so I'll get on my way now. I have quite a few miles to cover. Um, if you get to see my ugly face again, that's because I have something to show you. And if not, I have blanked. So thanks guys and tight lines everyone. Well, you got to see me again. Unfortunately for you, unfortunately for me. Look at this guy. How's that, guys? For another amazing fish. The water isn't best, but what a beauty. What a absolute beauty. Smashing. Another beautiful bass in a tough water conditions. Very, very strong fish. 67 centimeters, I say about seven pounds. Beauty. We let her, let her go now. Oh, how cool is that? Very difficult ground here, but managed to uh, land the fish and return it safely. It was hairy fight again. She drove me around the rock and I had to wait for waves to just get right to bring her over and around the rock. But once I had it on the right side, I knew she's gonna be mine. <laughs> oh, great. That was a fine fish now, wasn't it? So before we come back to the video, let me take a quick break to say a big, big thank you guys, huge thank you for supporting the channel and myself. Look, it's not easy to um, do all the videos and it takes time, so it, it means a lot. Your support means a lot, so thank you very much. And um, on the mark of hitting a thousand subscribers, my friend David suggested I'll do a giveaway, so I'll follow his lead and uh, I'd love to give away this um, favorite rod it's a um, favorite x1 and um, saltwater series it's a new saltwater series it's a 2.74 meters or 9 foot uh, 10 to 30 gram and a fast action um, now bear in mind this rod is not a brand brand new it has one or two uh, scratches I was testing it before a favorite has released this series into a production that was some year and a half ago, but it's like a brand new rod, so I'd love to give it to, to one of you guys. And if you want to read more about this rod, head over to a favorite-fishing.com website and you can read a lot more on the new website about this rod, as well as the other rods they do. Uh, and you also can uh, go and uh, buy online, actually. They deliver all across Europe now and delivery is free over $100. And um, so head over to their website and in terms of a giveaway, uh, look, I, I'm doing it for the first time, so I'm sorry if I'm going to get it all wrong. I'll try to stick the rules into a description so you can read exactly. But the video is going live on Tuesday. Uh, I, me I meant it went live on Tuesday. So we, we will run it for a week up until Tuesday, the 1st of September 2020. So if you're watching the video in the first seven days, you've uh, in chance of uh, getting that rod. So what do you need to do? Well, firstly, uh, the giveaway is only to, for subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, give a like and comment in the video. Uh, and I would love to send you to an Instagram page of Favorite Fishing and Instagram page of myself. Uh, follow both of us and then come back and, and just say in the description, say, say giveaway in the description so I know you want to take a part in the giveaway and tell me in the description your um, Instagram uh, username so I will choose a, a winner on Tuesday and I will contact you through a comment over here and via Instagram private messages uh, so just make sure you come back and, and, and check that, that you don't miss it 
out and I, I apologize, but because of the cost of posting and everything, if you don't mind, I'll post it to uh, Ireland or the UK. So if you are from Ireland or the UK, I welcome you to take a part in, in, in the giveaway. Uh, if not, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm posting it at my own cost. Uh, so I, I, I hope you appreciate that. So if you're UK or Ireland, um, give a follow on Instagram, my page, favorite fishing page on Instagram, and leave a comment over here. Uh, and obviously be a subscriber and, and, and like this video. So uh, that's it now. That, that's it guys now. Uh, I'll send you back to the rest of the video. Just take a look what else happened on that day. Thank you. One more fish. Uh, a little guy, but beautiful fish all the same. Look at the uh, blue tinge there. Maybe 50, 45, 50 centimeters on the white and yellow, or as anglers call it, chartreuse. It's not yellow anymore if you're fishing. Um, Evo bass, the, the large guy, the bigger version. And yet, another fish, literally three meters from the shore. I didn't walk onto the point, I had it back and uh, little beauty will be going back now. You can see the water conditions isn't the best, but off she goes. That's the type of bed. Twitch action. I usually like to give some of my lures, my soft lures. I twitch a lot, that's why the short rod uh, needs to be light, responsive, fast. There's a bit of a wire on the, uh, on the hook. That's just to balance the lure the way I want it. That uh, in the pauses in between the twitches, it won't go plummeting down and it won't go all the way up. It just will behave naturally in the water and slowly go down. So that's what I try to achieve uh, with the weight I put on the hook. Look at this, guys. That's another tail lure. And that's the black hole. Ah, lovely, beautiful fish. And look at that. Another beast of a bass. Beast of a bass. Again, taking two, three rod lines out. I meant to show you the last fish and it became a, my best session so far this year. Amazing! Off she went like a missile. Oh. What a day! back in the car now. It got very windy, I got one more fish, but I wasn't able to show it to you. It, it got really, really windy and bad there. So um, I've called it a day, but what a day, what a day. I just meant to show you the big fish from the other um, session. I, I, I didn't think I'd catch much, the conditions weren't the best, as I said, um, but it turned out to be a great day. And fish don't usually read the script I, as it happens. Uh, but this time they have read the script and they have read the script very well and got prepared probably better than I did. Um, so I wanted to show you, you know, how to uh, catch fish uh, close in. That was my hope. Um, but I caught four fish uh, and every single one of them taken between one and three rod, lets, rod lengths out. Um, two of them were beautiful fish. Uh, they, were, they were about seven and eight pounds and uh, the, the last one, the, the really strong fish and uh, they hit the, the lure hard and gave me a great fight. So look, um, just to summarize, um, just a few kind of a tips to summarize the day. 
uh, and and what I've caught the last couple of days. So I, I caught all the fish close in, and I'm talking about fishing rocks. So obviously this doesn't apply to every fishing situation and every spot. Uh, like you might be fishing channels, you might be fishing shallow reefs, beaches, uh, surf, you might be fishing estuaries, a, a current out there, uh, any sort of spot. So, so what I told you is about fishing uh, rocks really and, and, and the rocky kind of a gullies. Um, so don't walk uh, up uh, until the end of the point right away. Don't wait uh, deep. Uh, straight away, just start by fishing the uh, the closing, the features, the shore uh, uh, itself, and then walk out and then cast cast further out I if you wish. Now I wasn't even casting. I don't think I've done the full cast today. I was stopping the cast halfway there just so I can fish the the features and be in that striking zone uh, longer. And um, and how do I position myself? I actually walk now all the way back. I go to where the gully starts, where the channel starts, so I can position myself, so I can walk the lure along the um, the, the edge of the um, uh, of the gully for as long as, as possible, and uh, at the edge of the rocks. That's where I want to position myself, and I'll keep kind of moving, uh, and I keep casting towards each side of the gully. So when I have a gully and it's a couple of meters wide, I don't want my lure in the middle. I want it firstly on the right hand side and then on the left hand side and and, and keep moving. Um, lure wise, look, it doesn't really matter. Um, there's so many great lures out there that uh, what is important in my opinion is not the brand itself. It's the uh, that, that you match the lure to the conditions or how deep it goes, the size, the action, maybe a color to a degree, but we don't really know how bass see lures and they definitely don't see them the same way we, we do. Um, but the action, the size, the depth, that's important. I've caught fish on the three different lures today. Uh, I use the uh, the kind of a slim uh, pattern, a uh, paddle tail that uh, reminds a sand eel um, uh, in a clearer, where, where I could find a clearer water, clear, clearer conditions, that's where I use that lure. Uh, when it got uh, murky and, and, and more browny, I use a big paddle tail that, that has a wobble and, and paddle tail action. And then when I was in shallow water, I used the uh, the one from Evo Bass, the Albi, Albi like lure. Uh, and I've, I, I've chosen the big one and the bright one, I, I believe in colors, um, more than the fish. Uh, but it gives me a confidence. So I've picked the bright one and the big one just to, so it would be uh, easier detected. And, and every one of them worked. And I had another uh, one or two takes that I didn't strike. So um, all in all, a, a great day. And fishing in that manner for me, like, like to start with, it, the sea was huge. I didn't know how to approach it. I tried to cast as far as I could. Uh, but now I'm fishing these small venues. So each goalie is a small venue. I fish that venue as I would a, a small trout water, for example, uh, or a small perch water, and I move on to the next one. And it's much easier to, to comprehend and to break it down that way, the big sea into a small uh, venues and, and fish it effectively. So I fish one and then I move on and it's great for a kind of a run and gun uh, type of fishing. You can cover the water very quickly I don't stand there in this type of uh, situation venues. I don't stand and, and, and keep casting. I do two, three casts, max one, maximum two lures if I just want to try a different depth and then I move on and, and, and then I move on. So no magical lures, no magical spots, just covering the ground, fishing the, the small chunks of sea, the small venues as you would a, a river or a lake. And um, I've done 20,000 steps today according to my, um, my watch. So just covering the the ground and, and you'll eventually uh, uh, get get big fish. Um, is there anything else? I think I've covered the the. I think I've covered most. Oh, glasses! Yeah, for this style of fishing, you need a good polarized glasses. Any good polarized glasses, um, as long as they give you a clear picture of what's uh, in the water. Now I have Costas five uh, ATG. They are a bit pricey, but they are worth it in my opinion. If you were to go for one only, one lens only, the silver sunrise for Irish conditions are excellent. Mornings, evenings, cloudy days, um, full sun with a cap on, perfect, perfect, really perfect. My go to uh, glasses and my go to lens. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, just wanted to show you the, the, the one fish. 
it happened uh, it turned to be a longer video so thanks for sticking with me and thank you thank you very much for a uh, uh, thousand subscribers uh, it my channel hit thousand subscribers a while ago it's, it's over 1100 at the moment so thank you very much and um, it's brilliant thank you for your support now if you like that video uh, it would long go a long way if you gave a, a like and subscribe and, and tell me in the comments what do you think whether you agree disagree would you like me to cover anything else in terms of bass fishing lures techniques gear and anything else and um, if you have any feedback at all i would welcome it very much if you just stick it down there in the comments so thanks again again guys and uh, tight lines and keep casting until you get the big one thanks